Hi everyone, I'm Rishabh and today we are going to discuss about Crane VoIP module. As you all know that Crane is built on most popular PHP framework that is Laravel. Since Crane inherits the functionality of Laravel, so it makes it super flexible. So directly moving towards the uh, blog. So this is the official blog presented over here of Crane CRM VoIP. So before I start moving, I like to mention some of its features. So these are some of the features like it supports one to one call between the users. Call recording is also available. Admin can restrict the permission of the users. User can download the call recordings and inbound routes to call directly to the customer. So that Crane CRM VoIP module basically helps to call over a broadband internet. So this is the whole installation process. So firstly, you have to install the asterisk. So these are some of the steps I mentioned over here. And uh, after installing the uh, asterisk, you need to allow some of its permissions. Here are some of its commands. And after that, you need to install a composer, Apache 2. So these are the requirements. The server will be Apache 2. The RAM will be 2 GB or higher. Uh, PHP version is more than 8.2. For SQLite, it is 3 or higher. And Composer, as I have mentioned before, 2 or higher. So this is the installation and configuration guide. So as I have already installed it. So this is our official admin panel of our crane. So here you can see the dashboard here are the options of leads quotes mail activities contacts products settings why configurations so uh, to enable that module of the crane wipe you need to enable that configurations first so go into that settings option as it is presented over here click on to that now you will able to see in other settings there is a option of wipe so click on to this and it is already enabled right now so you can manage it from here so as soon as i have disabled it and save this the calling option will get disabled from here and again i am enabling it so this is started enabling so these are some of its features so now i am calling it uh, to one of its my users so before calling i have to go inside this users option so here are some of its users like 001, 902, 901. I am calling 104 user. So you can go inside this VoIP and you will able to see one SIP user. So this SIP user is the number I have to call from here. So that, uh, that number I am copying this and I am going here. That is 104. I am dialing it 104 and I am calling it uh, yeah so the calling is going on so the call is been accepted and I am uh, declining the call from here so the call is been done so after call has been done you can check whether it is recorded or not so you can go inside this option there is a one call recording options presented over here so you can select your date select your sip user that is 104 click on to this and you can search it over here there might be some of issue I'm calling again yeah it is going on and after that I'm declining a call now I'm searching it so this call recording is visible over here 
so this call recording is gone from 902 as my uh, user is 902 and it goes to so from here you can download your recordings and here are some of inbound routes inbound routes are been mentioned over here also as I have tell you before like inbound routes help us to uh, uh, call directly to the customers like I am uh, calling uh, to myself so for that I have to dial 0 then my number that is whatever the my number is and I can call to a local and private number as well and these are trunks so trunks you need to uh, create it like you have to create a trunk click on to this trunk click uh, create a username password enter your service IP presented over here you need to fill a service provoked over here so after that you need to create a inbound routes and this is all about it so thank you so much I hope you like this video and don't forget to like comment and share this thank you